Hello, uh, GPReview.com uh, readers. Uh, this is me, Steve McBarnes, the vice president, if you will, of GPReview.com. And uh, this is our first edition of some tried uh, video podcast type thing. Um, I guess I'm going to begin by saying, well, let me begin by saying first that since I don't really like to redo things over and over again, this is probably going to be a one-take deal, so please excuse any, you know, flubs by me or anything. I'm not big into editing, so this is probably going to be pretty much unedited, probably entirely unedited. So I'm going to go uh, straight to the reader questions that we had of that uh, on that story that I posted, um, starting with Headfoot, which uh, he asked for some how-to information on how to install an aftermarket cooler or a water block onto a graphics card. Um, I've never done it myself, but it's very straightforward. You just take your graphics card, you know, out of your computer. Um, you know, make sure to discharge any static electricity you have on your person. Carefully remove the stock cooler, um, any RAM sinks that you want to replace, you know, chunks of metal that you put on your individual RAM pieces on your video card. Once you remove the stock components, you, uh, you um, install the one that you've purchased from a company like Zalman, Arctic Cooling, Thermal Take, Thermal Right. Uh, all of these come with instructions when you purchase them. Make sure to follow the instructions to the letter. Um, most of the time you'll have to install your RAM sinks first, uh, install the cooler, the heat sink, the water block, um, following the instructions. They usually include thermal paste to go between the GPU on the graphics card, uh, and ma which makes contact with the heat sink. Um, so the places that you can try are, for example, Zalman. Uh, let's see, the, they are the ones I recommend. I use their CPU cooler on my system. It's a quad-core Intel. Uh, they have uh, the VF1000 LED. I've seen that on a few cards that you can buy from manufacturers. The VF9900CU uh, LED is kind of like a flower type thing. It's a fan inside its own heat sink. Um, you've also seen, you've also probably seen that on some retail cards. Let me turn the camera around here. I got their website loaded up with some pictures of the ones that they offer. Okay, so. Here, if you can see my yep, you can see my mouse. The VF1000 that I was talking about, the VF900. Um, I think I've even seen this silent blue uh, offering on some graphics cards. Um, these are a little bit older, the VF1000, uh, VF700, sorry. And let's see, copper. Some of them are aluminum and copper to cut down on the weight, depending on how much weight your graphics card can handle. Uh, let's click on this one to get a little bigger picture for you. One of their newest ones, I suppose. So there you go. That's that's your stuff from Zalman. We'll go over to Arctic Cooling over here. They got some giant coolers that I've never seen before. There's a three fan, three 80 millimeter fans for your 2900 series from uh, from ATI, and uh, they also have a similar cooler for your 8800 series from Nvidia. 380 millimeter fans. That's a pretty. I I can't believe that would fit on a graphics card and not like extend beyond you know the the realm of the PCB. Uh, they also have. Uh, you've seen these on some offerings by Inno3D, for example. Uh, they have fans that you can purchase uh, to to go right onto the heatsink there. The Accelero series. And these are the fans right here, the turbo modules that you apply to the heatsink right there. The Thermal Take Dual Orb from Thermal, well, from Thermal Take, of course. Um, I've seen this on a 3870, I believe, from Power Color, I believe. So you might want to check that out to see if I'm correct about that. Uh, they also offer some of these I've never seen before installed by uh, retail card companies, but these are some of their other VGA coolers they have. Looks like the AT series for ATI cards up here at the top, and the MD series for NVIDIA cards. Uh, they also have some water blocks for VGA coolers as well. TMG's number 3 ND for the NVIDIA, AT3 for ATI. Let's see. And this is from Thermalrite. Looks like Thermalrite is in the business of uh, just uh, making very large heat sinks for your graphics card to keep them completely silent. I suppose you might be able to add fans to them, but uh, they don't have anything, anything on here as far as selling fans for you. Okay, let's turn it back around. 
go to the next question. I hope I answered that well enough for head foot. Okay, open up my program. All right. Let's see, WYZ135, he wants me to be funny. I don't have any jokes to tell right now. It's probably been funny already, though. I don't know. Well, that will just be like a self-fulfilling prophecy, I guess. Jim Day wants to know what kind of video card I have at the moment. I have a single EVGA 8800 GTX, the original uh, stock clocked uh, version that came out. Um, I just recently overclocked it in today, in fact, using EV EVGA's uh, new precision clocking tool, and I'm going to talk about that later. Uh, I'm going to have a little segment about that, about the results that I got, um, my 3D Mark results and how they improved. So I'll talk about that later. Um, what games do I like to play? I enjoy playing Team Fortress 2 right now. I play that with my clan, Killers Inc. www.killersinc, K-I-L-L-A-Z-I-N-C dot net is the website for my clan. I've actually played more Team Fortress 2 than anyone else in the clan. I play a whole lot, over 450 hours so far. Um, we were just playing last night. I got all my medic achievements from the new content that was launched. Uh, I also have played through Crisis recently, um, back when it first came out. And what else do I have up here? On my, my PC shelf's right above the camera, so that's what I'm looking right now. Prey, Unreal Tournament, uh, Unreal Tournament 3 is also, oh, and Bioshock. Bioshock was so sweet. Uh, I'm also playing Grand Theft Auto 4 right now on the Xbox 360. I also have a PlayStation 3, but I haven't bought any games for it recently. I watch it to, I use it to watch my Blu-ray movies on my HD television. Uh, let's see, do I have any GPU dream cards? I, not right now, really. I want something awesome from Nvidia, and it's not. I don't think it's going to come in the 9000 series. The 9800 GTX, kind of a disappointment. I don't really, I'm not really into the dual PCB cards. They require a lot of power and a lot of space. I want to, I would prefer a single slot or maybe just a, a, re, a normal dual slot card. Something that doesn't take a whole lot of power to run. Um, something that's faster than the 8800 GTX by a significant margin. And I'd hopefully like to get two of them eventually. So it'd have to be something, you know, past the 9000 series from NVIDIA. Um, I'm not against ATI or AMD's offerings, but uh, I've, I'm kind of into NVIDIA right now. Uh, they have a price per price performance uh, crown, I would say. Uh, shoot, I need to pull up that article probably. Where was it? Oh, the Tech Report. The Tech Report recently put up an article showing uh, some graphs that they made about um, the price performance ratio of NVIDIA and ATI cards. Today's graphics cards, the value angle. So I'm gonna post that link when I post this video. Um, the results are pretty, are pretty interesting. They have played several games and they used a scatter plot to plot the price per $10. Um, they did that instead of single dollars because the digits all get weird. So they got the frames per second per $10 in several games and then they have, at the very end of their article, they, ha they averaged all of their results from the games that they played into one uh, scatter plot graph. Um, in the top left are the graphics cards that have the best performance per price. And in the bottom right would be any graphics cards that cost way too much and don't give you the performance that they should. So that's how you read those graphs. And I'll post a link to that for you when I post the video. Okay. Moving right along, above default, how about my thoughts on the best review sites? He says that he personally likes Hardo CP and uh, Guru 3D is actually the name he was going for. Uh, I have to agree. I am really into Hardo CP. I have been for a very long time. I've been on their forums for quite some time. They are the place I go to read reviews about uh, graphics cards and motherboards and everything else. They are the people I ask. I ask them for help if I ever have a problem with my computer hardware, something I can't figure out, some kind of product that I'm looking for. I go to the hard forums. Um, I don't really read any other review sites. I read. I read uh, video card reviews just enough so that I know what video cards, video cards they are reviewing and then I add them to our database. 